the fulfillment of rest, the rest of the millennium. The fulfillment of rest is the rest of the millennium, the thousand-year kingdom. According to Hebrews, there is a rest promised for God's people, and we all must labor to enter into that rest. If we do not endeavor to enter into that rest, we will miss it. The way to enter into that rest is to experience the full taste today. If we have the full taste, we will certainly enter into the full taste. If we don't have the full taste of that rest today, we will miss the full taste to come. During the rest of the millennium, the saints will be fully like Christ, expressing God's glory. The saints will reign with Christ. The consummation of rest. The consummation of rest is the rest in the new heaven and the new earth. All the redeemed ones, as one body, will express the glory of God for eternity. Also. All the redeemed ones, as one body, will reign for God for eternity. That will be the consummation of rest. Rest in Genesis two was simply a type. The consummation will be in the new Jerusalem. Everyone will be satisfied. Everyone will have rest because God Himself will be satisfied, and God Himself will find His rest there. The church life today is a miniature of the New Jerusalem. The church life is a foretaste of that full taste. The consummate rest mainly includes two items: the expression of God's image and the exercise of God's authority. Man also rested with God. If you read Genesis one carefully, you will see that after God created man, He didn't tell him to do anything. God simply spoke about man's eating. God's seventh day was man's first day. According to the calendar of the Bible, a day does not start in the morning but in the evening. I believe that man was made late on the sixth day. When man came out of God's creating hand, he immediately entered the seventh day. The seventh day was to God the day of rest. God's seventh day was man's first day. This means that God had prepared everything for man's enjoyment. After man was created, he didn't join in God's work. He entered into God's rest. Hallelujah! Don't think that you must do something. God doesn't need you to do anything. God has plenty of riches, and He wants you to come and enjoy them. Don't work. If you try to work, God will say, "Foolish child, I have no work for you to do, but I do have great riches for you to enjoy. Come, join me in my rest. My Sabbath day is your first day. I have worked for six days. Now come and join me in rest as your first day. Let us go together and rest." Man did. I have spent a good deal of time to find out what man did after he was created. I found out that he did nothing but eat and rest. Isn't this wonderful? After people are saved, they always think that they must do something, forget about doing, come to eat Jesus, come to be satisfied, come to join God in His rest. God will say, "Little child, forget your doing, forget your working. I have done everything. Now is my time to rest." Come to join me in my rest.